And I would like to ask you, Rina, about what are you seeing at the moment as the um, like the, the struggles or the obstacles for what Trust Machine is doing and seeking to do? I think some of the struggle is there's just not enough Bitcoin users like to market. We're only at 4%, 5% of the world. And the more and more people on board into Bitcoin, the more and more we can build this ecosystem from the ground up. But to me, that's definitely a struggle, um, more so than anything else. The other struggle is just um, fundamentally trying to align with like the cultural clashes of Bitcoin. You have a camp that do not want to interact <laughs> with the base layer with the L2s whatsoever. And then you have a camp that are very much going to march in their own direction because uh, Bitcoin is open sourced and anybody can build on Bitcoin. And I think kind of bridging some of those divides would go a long way because at the end of the day, if you have any bit of stats, like you are a Bitcoiner and that's all that matters. And some of these like interpersonal squabbles like do not need to make the light of day. Yes, yes. I I think this this cultural divide is 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 hurting the space uh, more than it's helping it. Uh, I I hope we can get past it, hopefully. And we like I see I see the same thing, and that's why when when we started this this series of spaces, I noticed that most of the Bitcoin spaces and most of the Bitcoin podcasts they are very on one side of that cultural di divide. Hundred percent. And yeah, to me it's it's always astonishing to see. Like the, especially looking at the big Bitcoin podcast, and you see the same guests going over and over, and they they never talk about what's happening on Rootstock, what's happening on Stacks, what's happening on Ordinals, like all that stuff. It's almost like it doesn't exist. So when we started these these spaces, we were like, no, we want to give a voice to the other side. We want to talk to the builders. We want to talk to people in other ecosystems because there's. Otherwise, it seems like that those voices that just don't get heard as much. And it's like every voice matters. There's no, there's no denying that every voice matters because we are all trying to spread the mission of Bitcoin. Like that's how we're going to get to a billion users. But we can do an even better job of educating um, institutions and retail alike of what can you do with Bitcoin what applications you can deploy it into, what products to use, and even open up the conversation of what do you want to see built on Bitcoin? Because there's so many of us who are trying out different experiments, but um, all of us build for the same collective community of if you have Bitcoin, we build for you. Yes, yes. I, I always find that... Um... Narratives that unite are always much stronger than narratives that divide. So I think if we can all agree that, hey, we're trying to do the best for Bitcoin and we're trying to do the best for people, then hopefully.